Bonjour, mon ami. Today we are making a little chef hat. Hey there, I'm Louie, and in this video we're going to be making a, a little chef hat to go along with this little finger puppet guy, that um, little finger puppet chef that I'm making. Uh, and I'm going to actually turn it into a Mario, like a Chef Mario, because I've been playing a lot of uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Um, all you'll need for this is white yarn. Uh, I'm using worsted weight uh, yarn and a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, yeah, all right, let's get hooking. Okay, starting with our worsted weight white yarn, uh, you want to either, you can use the magic loop method here, or you can use the chain two method, which is what I'll be doing. And I'm going to make my tail end really long because I'm not sure how I'm going to make um, the last part. Uh, you can use two different pieces of yarns, but I might be able to use just the tail, so we're going to give it a shot. So I'm going to be doing the chain two method, but you can also use the magic loop method here. And for round one, we'll be single crocheting six into the second chain from the hook or into the magic loop. And this pattern is going to be worked in the round, meaning that we won't be turning for the entire time. Three, four, five, and six. All right, so that'll be the end of round one. For round two, you want to increase into each stitch all the way around. So we want to get into our first single crochet we made right here. If we can, there we go. And you want to increase, meaning that we single crochet two into each chain around. Now I'm going to be working around this tail just for the first few stitches to kind of close in that, close in that end there. Okay. And again, we'll be increasing into each stitch all the way around. And that's going to bring you up from six stitches to 12. Because you're putting two single crochets into each stitch. Just a couple more here. All right. That's the last one. OK. So you should you should have twelve stitches all the way around into each um, into each stitch. Okay. So for round three, we'll be single crocheting one in the first stitch, and then increasing in the next, meaning that you single crochet two in the next, and you'll repeat that six times total, which will bring us up from twelve stitches to eighteen. And just so you know, uh, my patterns all have a time code to each of the rounds. So if you want to skip to a specific round, um, there are links in the description below on YouTube. And they will get you to specific parts in the pattern. So you can just keep skipping back so you can uh, get the instructions again in a really quick manner. And this round should bring us up from 12 to 18. Okay, that's going to be the end of round three. For round four and five, two rounds total, we'll be single crocheting into each stitch all the way around. So that's just one single crochet into each stitch for two rounds. Okay, so I just finished up round five. For round six, we'll be going down from 18 stitches to back down to 12 stitches. So to do that, we'll single crochet one in the first, and then we'll invisible decrease in the next. And if you didn't know what an invisible decrease is, you get your crochet hook into the front loops of the next two stitches like that. And then you do a single crochet into those two front stitches, and that's called an invisible decrease. So for round six, we'll be single crocheting one in the first, invisible decrease in the next, and then repeating that pattern six times total. This is going to bring you down from 18 stitches to 12 stitches around. Invisible decreases are really useful uh, when you're making amigurumi because, I mean, like the name suggests, 
they're invisible. They're, you can't really see them very much. Uh, I like to use them pretty much any time uh, I want to decrease slightly. So I, I use them a lot more often than I use single crochet two together, for example, because that's not really, it, it pretty much does the same thing, but is more noticeable. The single crochet two together is, I mean, kind of rambling, huh? All right. Okay, so now for the next two stitches, or two rounds, rounds seven and eight, we'll just be single crocheting into each stitch around, and there should be 12 stitches around. So, into each stitch all the way around, we just single crochet one. Two rounds total. Okay, so I'm just finishing up round eight. For round nine and the last round for our hat here, you want to work only into the back loops, meaning the loops furthest away from you right there. So to do that, whoop. oh, and uh, we'll be half double crocheting into each stitch all the way around, working only in the back loops. So if you didn't know what a half double crochet was, you yarn over, go into the next stitch. In this case, we're working only in the back loop, meaning this one furthest away, and pull loop through, and then pull loop through all through on the hook. And you'll be doing that into each stitch all the way around. That should be 12 half double crochets total. And the reason we work into this back loop is because it makes a really nice, um, it'll make a really nice ridge. Like a, a, almost like a border to the, to the round. So you should have 12 half double crochets total by the end of this round. Okay, so we're at the end of our round here. Done 12 half double crochets. And now to finish up uh, the crocheting bit of making our hat, we will slip stitch into the next stitch. Boom. You can cut the yarn. Uh, you can leave a pretty long end, especially if you're going going to sew this onto um, some amigurumi, which I will be. I'm making a little Mario. And you pull it all the way through. And now you can do the hidden end trick. So if you didn't know the hidden end, I'll show you it real quick. You go in through the back of the next stitch over and then down through the middle of the last, um, the slip stitch that we just made. And then you go into uh, some stitches under it. And that should make a an end that looks the same as all the rest, so you can't really tell where the begins and ends. Now I'm gonna leave this end long because uh, I'm going to be sewing it onto the head of something, but you can tell it's missing the little bumps in it. So I'll show you how to make those really quick. Grab a new strand of yarn, or you can try using this middle strand. I thought it was going to work with this middle one, but uh, I don't think it's going to. I think, I think it's going to be easier with a new strand of white yarn. You don't need it too long. That's probably fine. And we'll thread the end. And you want to go into the back, so you want to find the end, like uh, where the, the end of a round is. So there's the end of a round. And you want to go in through, not through the very center, but just, a, just above it, like right there, right there. So we'll come out through right there. And you want to go a few rounds down. Go down to like that round, that's probably pretty good. And then come out through a uh, side over to the to the right of that. You're basically doing a kind of a peace sign on the top of his on the top of the hat. Okay. Then go in through right there. 
and then I would say out through like let's go like right here and you can pull this tight now and go down through a couple rounds down it's probably good and you want to pull it all the way through and now tighten each of these each of these little bumps here I gotta, I gotta find out which one of these is my end because I left so many so long okay and you want to make sure that each bump is like equally distributed you don't want it to look too silly so I got this end I know it's kind of a mess right here but these two are the important ones and what you want to do is when you have a tightness uh, that you like it'll loosen up a little bit so feel free to make it somewhat tighter than you normally would you double knot it on the inside and you want it to be like a very a very taut inside like I can feel the strings pulling each other all right okay and now you can cut the two ends here I'll toss those to the side and I'll clean up the outside here move it around so that these three you want to get your finger in there so that the three ends are like more bulbous but there you go there's our little chef hat we want to keep this end for sewing onto the body and cut this long tail right here but it doesn't really matter what's on the inside As you can see it's kind of a mess in there but that's all right and now we have a little chef hat now let's continue on and uh, make our Mario or chef if you're making a chef thanks so much for watching if you want to make this full chef uh, and turn it into a Mario or however you like to do uh, this is a club crochet pattern so you can get the patterns at clubcrochet.com slash chef